Hey, this is Matthias with Propellerhead Software, and in this video I'll give you 4 EQ tips that'll make your mix sound better. When EQing sounds, a good rule is that it's better to take out what you don't want, rather than boost what you do want. Since many other sounds can occupy the same space as the sound you're EQing, just boosting these frequencies won't make the mix sound less cluttered. Instead, lowering those frequencies on other tracks can leave some space for the sound to cut through. For example, if you want a bass or a kick to not drown in a mix, you can roll off some low end on the other tracks with a high pass filter to leave the kick and bass some space and keep the mix from becoming muddy. Much better, compare this to how it was before. If one of your instruments has a part of the sound you'd like to tone down, you probably want to lower that frequency. The best way to find these frequencies is to apply a lot of gain with a narrow cue and then sweep the frequency back and forth until you hear that you hit the right area. When you find the stuff you don't like, you can simply pull the gain down to lower it. This also leaves some room for the vocals. The kick drum is a central part of music and might need a bit of extra EQ attention to sound great in the mix. For some extra weight to the kick, try a small boost around 50 to 150 Hz. Setting the low frequency to bell mode in Reason's mixer can help you hone in on this area without adding much of the surrounding frequencies. To reduce boominess and clean up the low end, setting a high pass filter around 50 to 60 Hz can really tighten up your kick. You can also try boosting around 4 to 7 kHz, which adds a bit of snap to the kick drum. Much better, just listen to the difference. When EQing vocals, you want to make sure that they pop out of the mix. The presence is often at 2 to 4 kHz, so either boosting here or leaving some space around these frequencies will make sure your vocals cut through the mix. And if your vocals are sounding a bit dull, you can try boosting around 10 kHz and over. This is the air of the vocals and can really help a vocal track sound more open. So there you have it, 4 EQ tips for a better mix. Until next time.